Hey guys, Mark here from Swordfly Concepts and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at taxiway lines inside SketchUp. Uh, the next tutorial to follow will be taxiway lines inside ADE. Um, slightly more advanced, but in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at drawing taxiway lines inside SketchUp. Now, drawing taxiway lines in SketchUp is actually really simple. You just grab your pencil tool, or your line tool, whatever you want to call it, and you draw where you want your lines to be on the imagery. Okay, there we go. Now you can see I've extended that line. Uh, just get rid of that. Just get rid of that as well. And, like, it didn't take me too long to do this, so, like, Drawing lines in SketchUp, it's, it's, it's as simple as drawing lines in SketchUp, really. I'll just show you how I did the curves. Like that, and like that. And to be honest with you, I just did everything by eye. I didn't, I wasn't being 100% accurate with this. That'll be fine. Of course I was doing everything by eye. What do you mean I wasn't? Let's go back to that. Say to there. And we'll just bring it down a bit. That'll be fine. And yeah. So what you want to do is you want to... Is you, is you do want to be a bit more accurate than I'm being. Like you don't want to just go ahead and willy-nilly draw your lines and think to yourself, Oh, that looks fine, that's fine, it's okay, it's good. What you want to do is you want to take your time. You want to be a bit more accurate than I'm being. You want to actually be proud of your work. I am proud of the lines I've created here, like the fairly accurate. So, you know, just take your time, make yourself proud of everything you've done, make sure it looks the way you want it to look. So, we've drawn our lines. I'm not I'm not doing everything, I'm just drawing these bits. We've drawn our lines, now it's come to texturing them, so let's grab a default texture, you might want to use your own, um, let's just select everything first, and reverse the faces, there we go, okay, and, well we're done, there we go, edges. Okay, now they're all textured, so you want to bring them slightly above the surface. Let's go at 0 0.1. There we go. Just using the numpad there to type in the number. And there's our nice blacky darky line. So let's edit that texture. Select it first. I said select it. Really? I'm doing this? My word. Saturation up, go for that. That's fine. It's not exactly yellow, but it's close enough. <laughs> so, this is our taxiway line. Now, in SketchUp, you can make almost any line shape you like. You can do the curves any way you want to. Um, probably the best way to do these would be actually to do one side, then the other side, then draw your straight edge, and use the offset tool to draw the inner side. I'll touch on the offset tool in just a second. So these lines, they look fine. They look fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Um, however, if you come close to these lines, like if you're actually traveling down this taxiway, then you might think to yourself, they look kind of sharp on the edges. I don't like how sharp they look. There's something wrong with them. Like, I can't put my finger on it, but there's something wrong. Like you might say, they're a little bit hard to see, or perhaps they're not quite what you were going for. Well, a lot of lines in airports have borders. They have sort of backing borders to sort of stand out against the tarmac. So the tarmac could be like this sort of grey yellowy shade, and your lines could be a grey yellowy colour, and they're not going to stand out if they're the same colour. So what airports like to do is they like to give their lines borders. And I'm just using the offset tool here to extend the edges. Now, normally, 
this edge would be here, but never mind. So let's just use our curve tool um, to increase that a little bit. Go like that. Now, I am going to do this extraordinarily quick. You would want to take your time. Like, I do not recommend doing this. Like, not this quick anyway. Like, do take your time. There we go. Right. It's not it's not incredible, but that'll do whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Right, it's not incredible, but it will do the job for what we want. Alright, so let's go ahead and reverse the faces. Do select that. Now we're going to use our line color texture. Pop it in there. Now the line has a border. Now we'll use the offset tool to extend the edges. The line has a border. So let's go ahead and just use our default textures again for that. And then the same for the middle. There we are. Alright, so now with the border. The lines stand out a bit more, they actually make a bit more sense, they look better. Um, you don't have to add a border if you don't want to, but like I said, they do look good with a border. So these lines, they look really crisp, really sharp, and like, you can't really miss them. They, they do look nice. The one problem is, they look really crisp and really sharp. Now, in an airport, lines never look this crisp or this sharp. So what you might want to do is you might want to consider trying to attack that issue slightly. Um, one way that I found out you can do uh, is you can make the texture slightly transparent. So say if we was to dull the texture down a bit in transparency, we can just drop the transparency a bit. That's fine. And we can do the same for the inner line. Just drop the transparency a bit. And it looks a bit better. Just turn the edges off. Like that. It looks a little bit better. Like that. And here, it takes the focus away from them a little bit. But they still look really crisp. And they still look like, well, the edges are, you know, they are dead straight. There's nothing about those edges that isn't, isn't artificial. They are, they are straighter than straight. So what you might want to do is you might want to consider bringing your detail layer in to play. So if we just unhide everything, and there's our detail layer. Now what I've done is I've brought the detail layer above the lines. So instead of the lines being you know, in full glorious detail above the second layer, they are now the second layer themselves, and the detail layer becomes third layer. So what do we have here, right? Let's just Sort of spell it out for you. So base is layer one, uh, or well, base is the first layer. Detail normally is the second layer, and lines are the third layer. So this would be base, which is layer eight. Detail layer twelve, and um, the lines, which are layer sixteen, and anything above that is more detail. What I've done this time is instead of it being that way around, I've done base layer 8, lines layer 12, detail layer 16. Notice how I'm going up in fours? I'm going up in fours because that's what I was taught. I, I know people who don't, but that's, that's what I was taught. Up in fours. Fours is good. Fours means no trouble. So I brought the detail layer above the lines, and what that does is that gives the lines a weathered look. It takes the focus away from the sharp edges. Like, they are still sharp, 
there's no getting away from it. They are sharp. And they are dead straight. But with the detail layer above it, your focus is drawn away from how sharp they are. And they sort of blend more into the background of the airport themselves. They become more... Um, or should I say, they become less emphasized. They're still there, and you can see they're there. But they have less focus on them. They are not as bright, they're not as shiny, and they are definitely not as sharp. But at the same time, they haven't changed at all. All you've done is brought the detail above them. It really does work. It helps. It helps so much. It's a little trick you learn when, uh, when you're making games there. Um, something's too sharp. Try weathering it a little bit. And in this case, we have with the detail layer, the tarmac, the concrete, things like that. You bring that above the markings, and its detail transfers onto the markings as well. Taking focus away from them, and more onto the surface itself, blending these lines more into the surface. It's a funky little technique, but it works wonders. So, that's how you make lines in SketchUp. In the next tutorial, I'll be touching on how to make lines in ADE. I'll be going through the techniques you can use to make the texture yourself, like to make the texture sheets. I'll be going through importing the textures into ADE. I'll be using um, ADE itself, like, I do have the pro key, there, 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 there. I do have the pro key version. Well, I do have the pro key for ADE. However, you do not need it. It comes with the ground polygon tools as default now. So you don't need any of that fancy stuff. Um, I'll also be touching on how to draw the lines, how to draw a nice gentle curve as well. So things like this don't stand in your way. You know, like, you know, you can make a nice looking line in SketchUp, but once you do it in ADE, it looks jaggedy and horrible. I'll be touching on how you can get around that. And uh, last but not least, for that tutorial, I'll also be focusing on exporting the lines and making sure they look good in your scenery, like choosing a layer that's perfect for them. It's kind of like this, only in this case we've made sure the layer is different from what it normally would be because the lines don't look as good in the normal layer. But in ADE, it's trial and error, it really is. So I'll be touching on that. So if you did like this tutorial, remember to hit the like button below, just just so I know you liked it. Yeah, if if you enjoyed it, go ahead and just 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 let me know. Just hit the like button, the little thumbs up. If you want to, go ahead and leave a comment below. I will answer any question you ask, um, or at least try to. Um, leave some feedback on the video, whatever you want to do. And if you're feeling really, really, really generous, hit the subscribe button and uh, become one of my long-term fellow subscription buddies. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notified when we release a video. Uh, if you didn't like the video, then subscribe and hit the bell icon anyway so you know when a video comes out that you might not like, that you won't like to watch. Okay? So that's lines. Not many lines. Um, next tutorial coming out soon. Um, I'm not going to give a release date because I can't stick to them. So yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much everything. So, guys, I am Mark from Sawfly Concept. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, etc. All of that good stuff. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye.